48 HRS after Saints refused to honor cop murdered by thug, look what just happened to entire team. The NFL anthem protest that started out as more of a glorified publicity stunt by one player has taken some dark turns over the past year. While the 49ers player who started this mess, Colin Kaepernick, remains a free agent, aka, unemployed, many of his gainfully employed friends have taken up the torch. The question that many have for the protesters is twofold, firstly, is what they're protesting really worth protesting at all, and secondly, is this the way to do it? The first question has a pretty clear answer for most of us since the alleged police brutality that they're supposed to be protesting was centered around an event that went to trial and the officer was found not guilty. The second one is also simple to put to bed, if you want to protest something, don't make it the thing that allows you to protest. That's just ignorant on a multiplicity of levels. If they want change, they need a clear cause they're supporting, and they need to protest in a way that's not going to infuriate most of the nation. That is a concept that seems to be lost on the New Orleans Saints, considering the stun that they pulled at Sunday's game against the Detroit Lions. Independent Journal Review reported on their continued contempt for not only America but also one uniformed officer who was being honored after being killed in the line of duty just two days before. Before the kickoff of the New Orleans Saints vs. the Detroit Lions game, and even before the presentation of the American flag, several Saints players took a knee. But their timing is what is really turning heads. The players took a knee during a moment of silence for a murdered police officer named Marcus McNeil, who was a father of two and was slain while on duty just two days prior to the game. The team might have thought that they were making a political statement that would resonate with their fans, but they were wrong. Their ill-timed kneeling and obvious disrespect for an officer who died to protect their city was met with boos, shouts, and outrage that overtook what should have been a quiet and respectful tribute. McNeil was not only a respected officer of the law but a beloved person in every aspect of his life. His nephew described his uncle's time as a police officer, stating that he loved every minute of his time and that it was almost like he felt like a superhero and that he wanted to go out and save the city. He truly loved his job. He was hailed as a great cop by his partner, Dental Million, who posted this to Facebook after hearing of McNeil's untimely death. My partner Marcus McNeil for two years, this isn't real life, I thank you for all the memories we've accumulated. In the academy we stood next to each other in formation, in class I sat behind you, after graduation we was assigned to the 7th district. Worked hand in hand on the day watch together, then was moved to power watch as partners. Our latest assignment and current assignment was 7th district task force detectives as partners. I'm going to miss you dud. Stay frosty. Watch over me milk dud. We'll take it from here. The Macmillan Show. Forever 1762. The people of New Orleans were so outraged by the players, that their team was finally forced to issue a statement, apologizing for their ridiculous protest. 710 Keel reported that within 24 hours, the Saints scrambled to say that their protest was a misunderstanding. It took about 24 hours, but the New Orleans Saints have come up with an official explanation for a number of players failing to stand as the team and fans paid tribute to a slain Crescent City police officer. Saints coach Sean Payton has termed the incident a misunderstanding. The team was honoring fallen officer Marcus McNeil, who was shot and killed in the line of duty on Friday. But a number of players, planning to protest by taking a knee during the playing of the national anthem, knelt during the team's planned pre-anthem salute to McNeil. The kneeling players were loudly booed by the fans in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, as the entire stadium stood to remember McNeil and his three years of service to the city. There seems to be a sweeping misunderstanding all through the NFL. It's misunderstanding of how freedom is paid for, a misunderstanding of how to respectfully object to something and a misunderstanding of who funds their paychecks. They also misunderstand how much we care about them. There's no such thing as an irreplaceable person, and the NFL was only as valuable to Americans as long as it entertained us. And guess what, we are not entertained by racism, disrespect or contempt for authority and sacrifice. 
It's this writer's opinion that players like these are going to start having more and more misunderstandings as their new contracts get lost in the mill if they continue on their current course. And if that's the case it will be because America said good riddance, and made sure we were understood. H slash T, Independent Journal Review, 710 Kiel. Share if you think the NFL should replace every single kneeling player with a veteran who knows how to respect the flag. Join the Support Our Vets, Boycott the NFL and their sponsors' Facebook page by liking it. Ging it.